Robert Rodriguez is one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. He does whatever he wants, experiments with the medium, and has literally changed the face of cinema as we know it. He's best friends with Tarantino, but never gets the same kind of respect. I can't even find a damn video essay about him, so fuck it, I'll make one. It's 1992, Rodriguez wants to make a movie, so what does he do? Becomes a human lab rat, testing drugs at a facility, makes $7,000, uses it to make an independent action film with the intent of selling it to the Spanish video market. But oh no, it's too good. He gets bought out, Rodriguez becomes a success overnight. But wait, it's not good enough, he doesn't want to be known for a shitty low budget action film, so he reboots it into a sequel as the explosive Desperado, perfecting his quick cutting and style. He later goes on to make From Dust Till Dawn, using a non-chronology and spliced first and second half, and The Faculty, a horror sci-fi film better than it had to be, almost unrecognizable as his style. Now it's 2003. Movies are shot on film, they always have been, but digital is this new invention everyone is too scared to try out, but not Rodriguez. He films one of the first successful films on digital. Now, almost every movie is shot on digital, only using film for style or personal preference. Bring back 3D for the first time in 30 years? Why the hell not? Now we see 3D in Avatar and The Hobbit, but not if it wasn't for Rodriguez. In 2005, he wants to make a Sin City movie faithful to the comics, ends up inventing one of the first fully green-screened movies, and to top it off, makes one of the only black and white films of the modern era, using color to tell the story. It's 2007, invites Tarantino to help him make a tribute to exploitation movies of the 70s, but more entertaining and based on the posters and trailers rather than the films themselves. It gets critically panned, but unbeknownst to them, invents a subgenre of deliberately over-the-top grindhouse films, later helping this genre again with his masterpiece Machete and his niche Machete Kills. He's got a leather jacket that doubles as Superman PJJs, gets actors to paint between takes to keep the flow of creativity, owns his own studio so he can make whatever he wants, not what will make him money, is a masterful chef, father of five insanely named kids, lives in a hundred year old castle, and is very self aware of the fact that he's made the same movie a million times. In recent years, he's been getting a lot of hate. His movies are flopping and people are calling him a bad filmmaker. But can we not forget that he's made digital film possible, brought 3D back, perfected green screen, invented a subgenre, and is simply an inspiration to indie filmmakers everywhere? How many good deeds does this man have to do to at least get the respect that he deserves? Hopefully when Alita Battle Angel comes out, it'll be fantastic, and he'll be appreciated again. But only time will tell.